Yes, this is interesting, isn't it? This is courtesy of XXL, and I've been, I've been honestly fascinated by Uzi because obviously I'm a huge Lil Uzi Vert fan. But this story is quite interesting when you can, when you juxtapose it with what happened with Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. So this is courtesy of XXL. It says Lil Uzi Vert hospitalizes his ex girlfriend after allegedly punching her in the face multiple times, says her manager. Report. New information has come out what allegedly um, happened during an altercation between Lucy Ver, St. John and Uzi's former girlfriend, Brittany Bird, in West Hollywood, California, last week. Speaking exclusively to The Shade Room with an article published on July the 2nd, Brittany's manager, Brianna, whose last name was not reported, says that Uzi assaulted her client, her, assaulted her client during a fit of rage, leaving, burnt, leaving Brittany Bird hospitalized. Uh, Brianna claims that Bird was having a lunch meeting with John and director James Samuel at the Dialogue Cafe in West Hollywood near Sunset Boulevard around 12pm on Friday when Uzi pulled up in the Cadillac SUV confronted Bird. The Philly rapper then allegedly punched Bird in the face multiple times, pointed a gun at her chest before fleeing the scene according to Brianna. St. John was not involved in this hustle as previously believed. So, this is interesting in the juxtaposition with the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez thing because what immediately happened or the kind of backlash and the fallout from the Tory thing was this idea that, you know, we need to protect black women, we need to believe women's accounts of violence and whatnot, da 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 and there was a collective effort which kind of succeeded if you look at the numbers and the fact that, you know, Tory still hasn't really been pushed on most of the platforms and all that sort of stuff. And Megan Thee Stallion has gone on to win numerous awards, probably some less warranted than the others. But in general, she's become an even bigger star than what she was prior to the altercation that they had. Um, it seems like the concerted effort to cancel one person because of his alleged uh, mistreatment of a female has worked and it's obviously succeeded in the case of Tory. And then the kind of protection of Megan has kind of worked, but not so much because it does feel like some people do kind of have a vendetta out for her and want to kind of see her fail because they're not really fans of her music or her personality. It doesn't really matter. But regardless, it did feel like at the time, the consensus around fans and around the media and press and stuff was mostly that you know Tory Lanez was bad Megan was good and we didn't really have much information to go from if you really kind of look at what happened obviously we had the video of Megan kind of limping out of the SUV with her foot bleeding um, which looked obviously really bad in terms of the optics you had kind of Tory Lanez being laid out on the floor handcuffed you had the mug shot duh, 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 duh. but there wasn't really a lot of details as to what occurred we didn't really know what happened between the video of Tory Lanez, Kylie Jenner and Megan Thee Stallion in that kind of swimming pool and then what occurred from that point to them kind of being um, stopped by the police on the street and both of them kind of being arrested or, or being put into handcuffs. So we didn't really get any answers what happened in between. But from this Louis Uzi Vert and Britney Bird and St. John's incident, we've got pretty strong um witness account especially considering it was a cafe at 12 p.m on a wednesday right or something right in west hollywood um on sunset but on near sunset boulevard so a pretty busy area you would imagine we've got multiple accounts that basically allege that louis Vert not only hit britney bird he hit her several times and pulled out a gun on her right in broad daylight and for the most part no one seems to really care or is it mostly a thing of the fact that uzi is signed to supposedly he's managed by rock nation i've heard and you've you're seeing the difference in what happens when you kind of kiss the ring and you're maybe associated or aligned with a certain management company who has a lot more sway and a lot more pull in terms of media and press and what they report with how the losey vert thing is being handled vis-a-vis -vis the toy lanes because to be completely fair what should have happened with toy lanes what should have happened with with losey vert everyone should have just kind of waited until more evidence come out before everyone kind of cancelled or said you can't play this person and if you support this person then you're this you're that everyone should have kind of refrained from being super quick to point the finger and say well even though Megan Thee Stallion came out and said yeah he's the one that shot me I think by and large the blacklisting and stuff should have been halted until more of the facts came out in the same way, I think they're probably dealing with this Louis Vuitton thing. No one was really there. We've got different witness accounts, but, you know, eyewitness accounts can be a little bit dubious to rely on. But by and large, everyone's kind of, it feels like waiting for more information to come out before they start to make a comment. But it just seems odd to me that so far we have far more damning information about what Louis Vuitton allegedly done 
vis-a-vis what Tory Lanez did but for some reason Tory Lanez is the one really struggling to kind of get the attention or the eyes of the general public considering that he's been given no push um, whatsoever and I think you know the last push that he did get given with the baby or the last push that he did kind of managed to kind of capitalize on with that video you know racking up millions and millions of views um they quickly turned it into an issue because the baby was working with him and that ended up you know affecting his relationship with megan Stallion and all that sort of stuff like it just seems so interesting and so bizarre but also just in terms of a just a purely artistic point it's just insane to think that this little pint-sized rapper this very amazing artist probably one of the most versatile and interesting out of his kind of soundcloud class or group or year is such a is such a kind of hard person to pin down because one moment he could be shoulder stuff shoulder stuff shuffling looking quite effeminate and rapping about the most craziest of things really fast this really unique style the next moment he could be chasing rich the kid around in a starbucks or a coffee shop somewhere he could be allegedly you know um running um what you call it he could eventually be running up on his former girlfriend and rumored new boo and pulling out a gun on him like he's such a conundrum isn't it you can't necessarily pin him down what a unique 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 artist in himself but um the story is wild we don't really know exactly what occurred who knows what happened who knows what happened who knows what happened but if there is one way to prove that you're definitely still in love with your ex-girlfriend it's definitely running up on her and her alleged new um fling and pulling a gun out on them and getting into a physical altercation in public in it that is one way to prove like if there's one way you don't want to because there is this thing with guys where you just don't want to show that you're you're hurt you don't want to show that you're still attached or you still have feelings for somebody so you try and put this tough guy image on but there's one way you want to really let people know that you are still madly in love with that person is doing something like that. Like, he went crazy, innit? He went, cr- allegedly he went crazy. Like, imagine imagine being that angry with somebody that you want to, first, you know, first of all, hitting a girl, obviously don't condone that stuff. But being angry enough to pull out a gun on somebody is like, that's some real passion. That's some real toxic love. That is some real toxic, toxic, toxic love. Like, <sighs> I don't 